Hello, I'm super excited because we have got Georgia with us. Hello, how Hi, are you? Nice to meet you. Yes, good, thank you. And now, you? I'm very good, thank you. And now you have brought your own patterns now. Yes, that's right. So Teddy and Me uh, is my new company yeah. and we're an independent pattern company. Uh, we focus on children's wear with matching outfits for the child's teddy That's um, and we also have the pattern for the teddy itself. Now you, I have read a little bit about you and you are really experienced and you have got you know as so much experience on, on patterns and building children's clothes as well and of course you bring it all together with these projects. Absolutely. Now can you tell us exactly what do we get in, in this bundle? So um, this here is the kit for to make the teddy. So this is a, a sample oh, that we've sewn that. up. So this kit we have here will will make this bear, and you can see that he's all fully jointed, which means that he's great for um, children to play with, and um, also he sits nicely. Yeah. Um, so that's re really nice too. So within the within the kit to make this bear, we have the pattern. Yes. Um, we have the fabric. Uh, so two fabrics: one the main fabric and uh, the second fabric for the ears and oh, the excellent. paws and everything. And then we have the embroidery thread for the features, um, the special needle to do the stitch joints through the arms and legs. Amazing. Because without that, it's a bit tricky to get all the of way course. through and back of course. and then of course we have the stuffing as well now so of course you have also included instructions yes that's right so um so this is our pattern um so um all of my patterns i try very hard to make this a uh self-guided so so that anybody can follow along at home so each step of the way there's a photograph uh, which is annotated and then a short description that's amazing well the idea is that i think you know lots of people are busy and they're perhaps daunted by yeah. a task like this but i think if you've got those step by steps you can um, you can pick it up and put yeah. it down again. And of course the patterns are here as well. Yeah, that's right. So in the centre, um, the patterns are full size, so you don't have to use a photocopier yeah. oh. or anything like that. And they're printed on one side of the paper, so you don't need to worry. You can cut straight from yeah. the pattern if you choose to. Can I ask you a question? If you make them uh, fit the Finnish uh, little teddies, can, can we sell them? Finish. Yes, you can. Um, obviously, not from a commercial factory scale, yeah, yeah. but yes, for, um, yeah, handmade. Absolutely. If we, if, uh, that's yeah. So we could, for uh, personal use only, mm -hmm. photocopy the pattern and rip it, but just for personal. For personal use. use, but yeah, but you could also trace the pattern if you didn't have access to a photocopier. Perfect. You know, so so yeah. anybody can. Excellent. Use them. Can we see exactly how you put it together? Of course. Yeah. yeah. So um, what I wanted to show really is, as I said, um, all of our patterns um, have. Um, step-by-step -step <coughs> photos. So what we're looking at in the demo today are these first six steps, just to kind of Perfect. show you how detailed it is. Yeah, yeah. And as you said, um, within the uh, pattern itself, there's the, um, the pull-out pattern sheet. So this is what that looks like. Yeah, oh God, of course. Okay, so once you've um, cut out your um, pattern pieces, you mm -hmm. fold your fabric so that it's double. double. Yeah. And some of the pieces uh, are also uh, on the s uh, fold, fold here. Oh, okay. So the idea is that you... And it does tell you as well, yeah. It on all the tells you uh, here Fabulous. what to do. Um, and then the same with um, the hand and ear and foot Perfect. pads. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do, do we need an expensive, like, uh, cutting tools or just scissors? Scissors. Oh, absolutely fabulous. A sharp pair is good. <laughs> <laughs> the fabric one, yes. the fabric, yes. not the paper one. Let's not <laughs> mix them up. Yeah. <laughs> so we have that. You have done that. So you yes. have cut so them up. You cut them out. So I'm focusing on the arm, which is um, the first and the first six steps. Okay. So um, I've just pinned these pattern pieces uh, to our fabric. Yep. So you'll see what you get. Uh, it's mirrored pieces. Yes, of course. The double. Yeah. yeah. Um, and here. So what I'm doing is I'm laying these out right sides up so that okay. we can see we've got yep. two pieces. And the first step, very simply, is to um, flip this up here. Yeah. I'm just going to pop a pin in just so that it doesn't move around. And then we're going to sew across um, with a five millimeter seam allowance. Now, there are very small pieces of fabrics that you are using. Um, if, uh, like you're saying, that we can replicate it another time, could we use scrap pieces of fabric Absolutely. or something? Absolutely. So one of the things that many of our um, uh, customers have used the pattern for is to make memory bears or ah, keepsake bears. That's right. Um, our whole pattern company has a very strong upcycling, recycling ethos ah. behind it. 
and all of our patterns have um, brilliant. smaller pieces so that um, you can repurpose and reuse the things how, that you how, have. How beautiful, I love that ethos about it. Uh, and also, could you use, like, could you hand stitch it if you wanted to? Uh, yes, you can hand stitch it as well. Um, just remember five millimeter seam allowance. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Georgia. That's You're all welcome. the time that we have got now today. We hope to see you very, very soon. Uh, now, of course, keep watching her channel for more inspirational uh, hours.